to my trash corner because of like my trash can is behind me it's the corner i've never literally called it the trash corner before welcome to the channel i'm sp mitch and give me a follow on wait hold on twitter i have to remember because i'm not in my normal spot where everything pops up and give a subscribe to the channel or don't uh it's up to you cool all right good talk uh hi pals Hey, want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor. Yeah, that's right. I'm doing a sponsored video for the first time in two months because I'm lazy, but you already know that. Uh, it's this, the company, whoop, the company with the good, good shoe cleaner, uh, Rejuvenator. You can check out Rejuvenator at rejuvenator.com. They do sneaker cleaning stuff. They have brushes, they have kits. And this, this is the cleaning solution. This is a 16 ounce big boy here. It's a, quite a large container of cleaning stuff. I mean, what have I not said about this company that isn't already super positive? This is the best sneaker cleaning solution and products on the market in my opinion. Like I clean every single shoe that I get in beater boxes with this stuff um, and it always works really well. You can see the results on my website. And if you use my code SBMitch10 at checkout, you'll save 10% on your entire order, which is pretty awesome because they do free shipping. So it's not like you're just saving a little bit on shipping. Uh, yeah, this stuff works really well. And you're gonna see how well it works on my winter beaters because today we're gonna be cleaning up these sons of guns here. These are my uh, Nike SB Bruin Reacts. They were my winter beaters and they need some pretty big time help. Actually, let's take a look at a video thing I shot earlier of all the stuff we're gonna be using to clean these puppies. So the, the one thing I didn't mention was you need some kind of container to put the solution in the water in. I have a rejuvenator collapsible bowl, but you can use just like a little Tupperware thing. But I'm gonna be using mine. So you wanna grab some cold water. That's the thing, never use hot water on this stuff because it won't work as well. And the nice thing is you don't need a lot of solutions. So you just have your cold water in your little container. You just need bloop, 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 just a little bit. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way and it's so effective that you don't really need a lot. So let's change camera angles. Hold on. So. You can use the cleaning mat on a table. I like to use it on my leg because I'm a weirdo and I've been cleaning sneakers for six years and that's just how I do things. So I like to put this thing on my leg because it actually is so absorbent that it doesn't get my knee wet, which is pretty cool. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the right shoe. You wanna take the shoelaces out. Cool, all right, so you got your shoe here. We're gonna take care of the outsole. But first, you wanna take your adjustable shoe tree, set it for whatever size, these are a size 11, so I think the second to last hole will work. And all it does is just maintains the shape, which is pretty cool. So this shoe in particular has a number of materials on it. You have canvas, you have suede, you have leather, and you have just the rubber midsole. So what we're gonna take care of first is the midsole. So what I do for outsoles and midsoles is I will take like a little ice pick type thing or like, I don't know, a little screwdriver and just get all like the stones out of the tread, which I did already, so. Let's get to cleaning the outsole and the midsole. So you take your stiff bristle brush, dip it in, just get a little bit, you don't need a whole lot. Start cleaning. The nice thing about this stiff bristle brush is the, I mean, I just said the bristles are stiff so they do all the work for you. So you just wanna kinda go in like a clockwise or counterclockwise motion on the material and you'll see in a second. Like I'm not pushing down or anything like that, like the 
The bristles are so effective that you don't need to put any elbow grease in it. You want to use the stiff brush on non-painted midsoles and outsoles. Um, don't use them on any delicate material because, I mean, again, it's stiff plastic bristles that will mess your shoes up and you don't want to have that happen. That is the one thing I will say about the Rejuvenator brushes, or they are the best on the market in my opinion. Because I mean there are other companies out there that have just one brush for everything, and you can't do everything with just one brush. Because there are different materials on different shoes. Take your microfiber towel, just wipe it off. Look at the difference that made right away. I mean, just one go. And like, I usually go on it twice, so let's clean these things. trick of the trade when you're dealing with an outsole that's like this, go with the grain to get in between the treads. Just makes it a lot easier. Bottoms are pretty good. Uh, it's the bottoms, so you don't need to make sure that they're spotless, but big improvement. Let's take care of the midsoles. Here's the thing, too. If you find yourself dealing with a trouble area, like maybe on the the heel like that, all you gotta do, take your towel, dip it in some of your solution, and just kind of scrub it with your finger in the solution. It works really, really well, actually. All right, so now our midsole and our outsole are taken care of. Let's take care of the upper. So on this upper, there's suede on the toe cap, suede on the vamp area, and on the eyelets. Everything else is different material, so actually, let's use the medium. Let's use the medium bristle brush on the swoosh. Swoosh right there, pretty dirty. And as you can see, swoosh cleaned off. Cool, clean swooshes. Now let's do the uppers. Take your soft bristle brush, made of hog hair, just a lighter brush that you don't have to worry about scrubbing much, dip it in. Now with this, because there is suede, you're going to want to dip it into your solution, but also shake the excess out because you don't want to oversaturate suede because water and suede are not buddies. Just do the entire up. This brush is ideal for suede, really soft leather, like on shattered backboards or obsidian ones. I mean, it's okay on every material, but it's mainly made for suede and knits. This is my favorite brush out of the pack for sure because it's so versatile. The nice thing about when you're using not as much solution on it is it looks like it dries out, which it does not, but you still need to wipe it off, but it just takes care of everything really nicely. So. After that, you're gonna to wanna to dry everything off again. And remember, I showed you this brush. This is actually the brush from the dry suede cleaning kit, but it actually helps if you go circular motions on the suede. It kinda of helps reset the suede, which you can do with this brush or the still, this, uh, the brass brush that I showed you in the beginning. This one works actually really, really well at resetting the suede. All it's doing is just kind of reintroducing the nap to the suede. You can reset the suede just if you use this brass brush, just really, really gently. I mean, this is a Bruin React and it's a skate shoe, so it's not like crazy high quality suede or anything like that. And there you go. A clean pair of winter beaters, just for comparison's sake. I mean, you look at the, you can see these. These are supremely dirty. And this is just what five minutes with some rejuvenator cleaning stuff can do for your shoes said we're going to clean the laces too. These are not the stock laces. These are actually laces I had extra, but you can see there's a good amount of dirt on these and marks. So all you got to really, really do for the laces, just take your solution, dip your laces inside of it. And just kind of like mess them around in there. Get a little lather going. Shake the excess out, the excess out like you would with a suede brush. And just kind of like wash, like you're washing your hands. Just wash the, uh, see the lather it's making here. <laughs> just wash the, uh, the laces like this probably for a good 30 seconds to a minute, and it'll get all the stains out there. And then once you have these, all you gotta do is just rinse them off with cold water. So let's go do that real quick.
And there you go. This stuff never fails. I have nothing but good things to say about this. So if you want to keep your shoes clean too, go to rejuvenator.com, use my code SBMitch10, or use the uh, link in the video description. It'll take you right there. And you'll save 10% off your entire order, which can add up if you need a lot of stuff to keep your sneakers clean. So keep in mind too, they have free shipping and free returns too in case you're not satisfied. But let's be honest, folks, you're going to be satisfied. So thanks to Rejuvenator for not only sponsoring this video, but also making a product that is actually really good and effective and just being a company with a conscience because... It's not a lot of that going around nowadays. So thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate it. We will see you soon for some kind of other video because that's how YouTube channels work. So we'll see you next time. Remember to keep sneakers clean because they're supposed to be clean. No, that's not the tagline I usually say. Rejuvenator does sneaker cleaning good. Yes. Hey, have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye.